Hi, this is Bob. Been an amateur radio operator for 54 years. This is segment number three. Segment number three in the restoration of a Heathkit SB110 six meter transceiver. Uh, in this segment here, I call it uh, wash and dry. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wash the chassis. I've removed the front panel. I've uh, removed the uh, the uh, all of the parts on the front panel, all of the knobs, and uh, I have in the uh, sink here. This is a uh, laundry sink, and in the sink I've got a number 10 can with two cups of uh, warm water in there, about as warm as I can stand to put my hand into, and a couple of squirts of uh, dishwashing soap in there. I've got a uh, paintbrush that I got at the dollar store and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in there and I'm going to start washing. I also have a hose hooked up here on the laundry sink and I'm going to rinse it with the hose. So you just get down in there and start scrubbing. I also have a, uh, a toothbrush here that I'm going to use. I heated the toothbrush with a heat gun and I'm going to use the toothbrush for some of the hard places that I can't get the dirt off very well. But you just get down in there with a paintbrush, nice new paintbrush so it's not really stiff or anything. And you just scrub everything. First started using this technique back in the 60s with Motorola gear. Worked out really good. On the previous segment we talked about the uh, LMO. I didn't do this to the LMO or VFO as you might call it. That I just did with a damp rag and my little toothbrush to get the dust off. It didn't need all this washing for that one. This will get all that dust and dirt out of there. Be careful around those variable capacitors and things there. And then what I'll do, I've got a little uh, compressor here that's used to blow up air mattresses when you're camping out. And I'll use that little compressor to uh, blow the water out and from there I take it upstairs into the kitchen and I put it in the stove, in the oven at 150 degrees for two hours. Just like you're baking a cake. Now this final compartment here I may have to take off and do some more washing again. In fact I may just have to uh, get back in here and do some more washing again. But I wanted to show you what all is involved in the restoration of one of these to do it properly. I see on here there is a uh, heat kit repair sticker showing that this has been to the heat kit factory and been repaired sometime during its life, which is nice. It knows that some, I know then that somebody who uh, knew what they were doing was working on it then at that time. So I'll go ahead and finish washing this thing and uh, there's going to be a lot more involved in this because uh, I'm going to get some smaller little uh, little tiny paint brushes to get into some real small holes here and I'm going to set this up higher but uh, when you get done with washing it like that then you rinse it with warm water just like that you can see all that dirt just rolling off of there and I'm going to turn it over I'm going to do the same thing on the back do each one of the sides and you will find that when you bake it in the oven for two hours, 
takes all the moisture out and it'll come out of there nice and clean. Now this is a quick demonstration. I'm going to turn the camera off here and I'm going to do a whole lot more washing on this thing. Like I say, the bottom, the sides, and get in there with some real small, little, uh, little tiny uh, kids paint brushes to get into some of the small spots. But that's, this is the wash and dry segment of the restoration of the SB110. So uh, happy holidays guys and good DX.